Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hi guys and welcome to a quick Photoshop tutorial video. I must apologise for uh, not having a video in a few weeks, I've been slightly busy. But as you can see, I've done my line work already and I'm just showing you the sketch. Um, it's a very simple process that I do, I don't have any tricks to the trade or anything like that. I will just say, uh, make sure you always have your brush presets set so you can um, be able to like adjust the line weight on it. You do this by going to your line dynamics and being able to change the brush settings. Uh, but I'll do that in another video. So what I'm doing this is my a uh, seal demon girl. Um, I've done it before. What I do is get my base color down, select the outside and delete the outside. Uh, you do this by going onto your line lay layer and selecting outside the line layer so you don't have any like um, it's just so you can basically fill the image and so what I'm doing now is I am selecting the colors of the photograph so then I've got my darkest shade and my lightest shade I've already selected one of my darker shades but then I decided hang on a minute I suppose I get myself a nice, nice little color palette to show you off here so there are ways of being able to better choose a color palette but um, just for quick tutorial show I am just quickly showing you how I like to do it I pick random parts of the image and select them on there so then I can use them for my colours. So let's try that again shall we? So at first the shot can be a quite easy um, tool to use, you've just got to get used to it. Um, you'll notice in your layer box you will have four little buttons. Um, the one you want to select is one that looks like a square. What that does is that actually locks the layer so if you're colouring on that layer you will not go over the um, colour section. Um, I do this a lot because I like to I like to try and colour as many little layers as I possibly can. Um, just so because you'll find that the more layers you do the more Photoshop will lag and we're considering I tend to churn out a lot of work I don't like to do that I like to make sure that I've got as little layers as possible to put the less strain on Photoshop as much as I can but it took me a while to do that so at the moment what I've done is I've got my soft brush um, you can change the opacity and flow on your brush to be able to suit it to your needs I suggest like when you do want to do it really try out your colors really try out different things you want to get your photoshop set to the levels that you want so that you are happy with it you can do this by adjusting your brush presets your flow presets this and the other and you can find these all on the top toolbar to be able to actually access to um, so what I do tend to do as you can see I am selecting my uh, grey tone that I've got and I'm using the darker tones and the lighter tones to be able to um, show my highlights and my lowlights. I was asking in particular to show how I do my scaled skin which I've done in my um, carousel piece and some of my other pieces as well. Um, and it's just really simple, you get your base colour down and then you build up your shadows and this and the other. So you'll notice what I've done to my line layer, I've selected my line layer, locked my line layer and I've coloured the lines. Uh, and this is just so, especially in certain areas, just to give it a softer look. You can see by me doing it especially on the lips and the eyes, this has made the image a lot softer to look at and a lot more serene. Um, I do actually like my lines. I, I tend to try and keep them as neat as I possibly can. I do like them slightly rough, that's why I don't use paint tool side with a smoothing tool as I just prefer the look and feel of Photoshop anyway. I have tried Sire and I just couldn't get used to it. I've also tried Manga Studio as well and Illustrator and this is just the software that I prefer. So I've, you can see with the scales I've laid my um, lowest one, uh, my darkest la layer and then I do a slight lighter layer on top. This gives the image of almost like, um, makes the scale pop a little bit more. 
But yeah, this 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 tutorial isn't going to be for colouring the whole image. I'm just mainly going to concentrate on the face to show you how I do the features and stuff. And yeah, plus as I say, I mainly try and work as very little layers as possible. I think I'm on seven, no six layers here. One's my sketch. One's my lines, and then there's colours. And what I do is I tend to merge them into little groups as I possibly can. Can you see how the lines went over? That is because I didn't lock the layer. If you, when you don't lock the layer, you end up colouring over. But when you have locked the layer, it does this beautiful thing. Now I'm actually colouring the hair at this point. So what I've done do then is I select the colours that I don't want. The, the outside that I don't want and uh, so I basically go to my line layer and I select the outside and do it that way and then what I do is I use the select tool I use the, uh, select the most unimportant parts in the inside that I don't want on this layer so on the hair layer I don't want the skin included and I delete it then what I will do is I'll go back and I, and I will remove the line layer so I can see underneath this as you can see I've done here and I will manually remove all those lines uh, this is just so that you don't end up with like a pixelated edge on the outside it just makes your life a heck of a lot easier when you're colouring in as well it does make it um, if you are used to colouring in all in one, um, uh, one layer I suggest doing it little layers as you possibly can and just to create more of a painterly look always with the soft tool i love that brush too much it just gives it a more softer effect when you are coloring um which makes the overall image look a lot nicer than anything else you'll use i wouldn't claim to be an expert on photoshop i don't claim to say this is how you should do it this is just my way of actually being able to do things there are actually plenty of tutorials online by other artists if you are looking for a different style of colouring. This is just my way and I've had a few requests on show me, you know, showing how I do some of my images. Uh, we're going back onto the image, we're going to zoom in, let's have a look at her. She seems to be, at the moment, we've got the basis down, we've got the core components down that we want. We've got most of our low lights, we've got most of our highlights, but what I want to do is I want to give her a harsher uh, shadowing right now. So what I'm doing is I'm going on another layer and I am building down my shadows. This is just the way I work. Um, it's just so I can create the darkest possible shadow as possible. So then I don't completely merge it onto that layer. Now if I was more confident, I'd do it on the same layer. But I'm not that confident. <laughs> See, a lot of my work when it comes to facial work tends to be like extremely minor anyway. Um, I like to not overwork a piece. Um, I'm still learning with Photoshop, and that's something that you will find no matter how hard you work, how many times you've used the um, same program, you are constantly learning with it. So there are things that I keep on finding out that I never knew and it's just that's the wonderful thing with um, practicing and learning your software, learning the way it works and just genuinely getting used to the product. I mean I've been using Photoshop now for about five years and I still don't know how to properly use it. It's that much of a fantastic tool. So uh, you can see I've really brought out some of my highlights and really brought out some of my lowlights. This is just to um, make the image pop more, make it to look a little bit more realistic than normal. Um, I'm not a semi-realist. I just like certain colouring to be done a certain way. Now I would suggest if you are unlike me, um, really, really work on like highlighting and lowlighting. Um, it's something I started to use more of anyway just to give the image a bit more of a pop and a bit more of a semi-realistic um, sense behind it but yeah so the idea was with this one was that she's a very she's a, like a leopard print um, seal so we want we want that pattern in and like you can see it's subtly around her eyes it's not a massively amount there but it's just 
I've made it very very subtle um, just so that when you look at the image there's more to it Uh, I do like to take my time with colouring and Photoshop. Um, I do a lot of. I don't tend to do a lot of like massive colouring, anyway. Uh, I just tend to do mainly do line work. Yeah, I messed up a little bit on the colouring there, so I'm got re going back over my lines and um, darkening some areas just to make them colours pop a little bit more. I mean, I'll probably go back and change a lot of this anyway. Um, I will keep on playing around with the colours, keep on playing around with the shapes of everything until I'm actually satisfied. I am never fully happy until I look at an image and go, right, that is, you know, basically it. So I'm softening the jawline, softening the nose line, um, just to make her look a lot, you know softer and the lines won't be as harsh on the actual image itself and sometimes it does help to go with harsher colors rather than uh, the further you go with contrasting the better it is the more interesting your color palette is as well like i've got a lot of grays and blues here but i've got some pinks and yellows and i've done yellow as a lip shine instead of a blue just to make that part pop a lot more my problem is, is i tend to like do so much of the image at once i just like oh gosh i gotta do everything and i'm very disorganized when it comes to coloring i like to i, I like to color certain parts and then i'll go yes that needs to look better and all i'll, I'll go oh no 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 i'll need to go back and fix that so it isn't a very clear tutorial i'd say it's just this is the way i work and the way i do things I'm going to try and finish this image in time for London Expo, which is my, uh, well, it's not my next convention. My next convention is Geek Fest, which I have a lot of work to do for that. And then the next major one is London, which I will be there in two weeks. I'm in the middle of finishing a comic. That's one of the reasons why I have been so busy at the moment, in the middle of conventions and work and, and being poorly and everything. I've just been non-stop working and that is yeah so you can see i've got my shines in my eyes make her eyes really sparkly i'm highlighting some more parts and darkening some areas um it's just more about playing around constantly until you are happy with the image you remember you've got your soft brush your harsh, harsh brushes you can change the brush flow and everything you really want to set it so you are happy with it so to speak um yeah i'm just darkening some of the leopard prints around the eyes just to give it more of a scaly effect now the, remember disclaimer i'm not perfect at photoshop this is just the way i work lots and lots of colors yeah that, that's the thing this is probably one of the worst pictures to show you like coloring <laughs> thinking about it but it's just to show how to do subtle shading more than anything to make it look more of a semi-realistic image. I mean, it's not realism, but it's almost semi-realism. Yeah, I, I think the main um, rule, as is with any program, is get a feel of it. Make sure you are comfortable with the software. And remember, you are constantly learning. You'll be constantly be adapting and improving every time you use it. And don't be disheartened if straight away it doesn't work. Just do the best that you can do and always and constantly practice, 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 practice. That's how you get better. Uh, I'd probably uh, suggest like plenty of tutorials and like, just genuinely get a feel for the software. Um, the more you practice, the better you're going to get out of the software anyway. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate um, all the support and all the love and it's really really very very nice to see i do hope you've enjoyed this and i hope i've been a little bit informative i know it's not a massive amount and don't forget to subscribe or check out any of my other art channels see you guys later bye